The new gimbals from DJI are here. We have the RS3 and the RS3 Pro. And we have some exciting new uh, accessories, such as this wireless monitor. We have a follow focus system, and even a sensor that can give you autofocus on all your manual lenses. We're gonna test these gimbals to the limits by creating an adventure film, so stay tuned. Last year, we bought the previous version, the DJI RS2 gimbal, since it was one of the smoothest gimbals on the market and it fitted the Steadicam system Tilta Float, which we already had. <laughs> and with the Sony A1 camera, this became a new favorite setup. We actually ended up using this in five productions for clients in the beginning of 2022. Because we have autofocus on the Sony A1, uh, but I'm using the wireless down here, as you can see, this wheel, to uh, zoom in when I need to, zoom back when I want to have a wide angle. It's a very really flexible setup. Then DJI sent us the new RS3 and the RS3 Pro to test them out and make a video, and Matthias was the first one at the office to test them out. Oh yeah, cool. There's a knock here. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a closer look at what the new gimbals offer. Both the RS3 and the RS3 Pro have improved their stabilization algorithms, which is supposed to give you smoother shots. They both also feature a larger 1.8 inch OLED touchscreen and a very neat way to lock the whole setup with one press of a button. And they also have a new physical switch for different shooting modes. So what is even better with the Pro version? I am RS3 Pro. Professional. The RS3 Pro handles cameras up to 4.5 kilos, while the RS3 handles cameras up to 3 kilos. The RS3 Pro also has more accessories. Actually, all the accessories you can get for the Pro version is overwhelming. And in our eyes, the most interesting accessories was the new wireless transmitter and the new wireless monitor. You can mount the transmitter under the camera plate on the gimbal, which is very convenient. And you can power it from the gimbal itself. And then you have the monitor, which receives the video signal from the transmitter. And on the monitor, you can get handles to adjust the focus and control the gimbal. You can change the battery mounts, so you can choose to use only Sony batteries instead of their DJI batteries. You can even fully control Sony cameras with this monitor. That's awesome, since we already have the Sony A1. You also have the LiDAR camera accessory, which measures distances in front of the camera and sends the signal to the follow focus, so you can have autofocus on all lenses. I've never seen something like this before, it's awesome. And the gimbal has so many features that I could use a whole hour just explaining about it. But we don't have time, let's just start shooting with this gimbal. Matthias had already decided to use it for a couple of new projects for clients, with the simplest setup. You're gonna run? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. And this is the RS3 Pro, again without any stabilization added in posts. What's great about having someone to sponsor a YouTube video is that we can use some time to create some scenes with the gear. And right now, my friend and actor Jonathan and I, we are working on a film proje project called Cloud Mountain. And we thought, let's shoot some scenes with this gimbal and see what it's capable of. As usual, we didn't have much time. And as the locations are really important for adventure films, we had to start scouting. Hello. <laughs> yes. So there was just a spontaneous uh, trip to find a location. We thought, let's just do it. But I think it's in this direction. We only have one hour to do this, so we have to jog. 
Det er så kult her, så å kunne rulle her liksom ned, eller ikke rulle ned da. Du må måtte løpe ned der. Looking like two idiots. If you want to brainstorm, find your uh, colleague or a friend. Just do some jogging in the forest. Her må man uh, feike litt for å unngå turisme. Det er kjilt. Uh... Oh my god. People started looking strange at us, wondering what we were doing. But uh, luckily we have a camera, so people know we were filming something. Even though we just randomly found this place on Google Maps, it was great. I have to admit that we shaped the script a little bit to fit the locations we found, but I don't think that is a problem as long as you are able to tell your story. So we were happy and it was time to shoot. Okay, getting ready for the shoot. We're gonna bring with us the DJI RS3 Pro. I bet you're gonna use a lot of power because we have the video transmitter, we have the wireless focus system uh, and the setup is quite heavy. So an extra battery for that. I even brought a huge power bank in case we need to charge the RS3 while we are shooting. And of course the DJI video transmitter, the screen. We're gonna bring it, we'll see if we're gonna pull focus on this one, but maybe. We can also adjust the gimbal. So this is interesting, this is gonna be exciting. Yeah. What took you Oh, nice. So I went for your pants and uh, my uh, your shirt. shirt. And this is some old bed sheets I had laying. Around. Yeah, I just made them dirty, <laughs> so we. Nice. And I'm gonna let my hair out as well. Yeah. Oh my God. Nice. And I'm gonna get dirty. I'm gonna <laughs> get real dirty. <laughs> so, the plan for today. He wakes up in a field of flowers. And uh, I don't want to spoil too much here. Här har vi lite färgtema och sånt vi ska gå efter. Sen har vi en annan skrik där. Ja. Relativt. <laughs> so this is quite a challenging shot. <laughs> so then like go from, from the uh, ground up backwards around this thing and up this small little, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, up there and then turn around. It's complicated. So it's gonna really test the gimbal now. And I have to have a motivation to, uh, to walk up there. Yeah. Because or else it will look strange. Because when you look up, I can move backwards. Like it's, that's the motivation for okay. the camera to go up. Mm. I feel you. Okay, sorry DJI, we just went straight for the craziest and most shaky shots. But I think the gimbal gave us the feel and look we were looking for. <laughs> One really nice feature is that Marius could control the tilt and pan of the gimbal while he looked at the monitor, because I couldn't see the monitor in some of the angles, I couldn't watch the monitor on the camera. So then Marius can like find just the, the framing. It was perfect. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Whoa, okay, nice, nice. Nice. First scene done. How much is the clock? Too much. Okay, <laughs> we have four more scenes. It was so much fun, so we maybe used too much time here, but we got some nice shots.
fiske. Det er ingen, um, ja. ingen fast til det. Nei. Are you gonna eat? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> As he wakes, his body hurts, he's dirty. As he comes more to life, he scouts the area above the flowers. POV, surveillance camera and tree. He exits the field of flowers. We had a certain idea on how to shoot each scene since we had been location scouting. But we did also improvise a bit on set. Discussing the shots with friends is always fun. And of course it's fun to see your friends hit each other to get in the right mood. Ah, so well. What is this? Last shot now. Oh, we finished with the most advanced scenes. 10 o'clock in the evening, and still it's very bright. This is very, uh, I don't know. Scandinavian. Very Scandinavian, yes. At least this time of year. So, so far, you know, it's, it's, I really like the, the lock, the button to lock of the whole system. Whenever you want to balance it a little bit because you're zoomed out or zoom in, you can lock it. Then you can unlock just the one you want to adjust. Like now, I want to put on the ND filter on the lens. I just press one button, it locks. This, press the button again, and ready to shoot. So, so far, very good. Now we just need to go home and look at the material on our big screen. Because it looks smooth on this screen, but will it look smooth on the big screen? Let's shoot the final scene and get out of here. Okay, so that was one evening shoot with the DJI RS3 Pro. Now let's look at the final edit. What is this?
You smell me. So the scenes you just saw is for our work in progress film called Cloud Mountain. And in one of our previous videos, we shot some other scenes for the film up in the cold and snowy mountains in Norway. Yeah, so this film is coming along piece by piece. You can check out the other scenes by pressing the card appearing now or wait to the end of the video. If you want to invest in this film and help us finish up the film, don't hesitate to contact us through views.no. Ricky, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So, what to say? Well, so far we're super happy with the setup. We managed to shoot a lot of scenes in just a couple of hours, thanks to the practical setup with the wireless monitor and that you can control the gimbal and focus from the monitor as well. So that's great. So the RS3 and RS3 Pro do have some neat features, but if you want to save some money, you can always buy the RS2. It's still super smooth, so I do recommend it. You can go to probably a secondhand store and buy it quite cheap. And you can also use the RS2 batteries on this one. So if you want to upgrade in the future, you can always use the battery here. Uh, if you want to buy this one, you can go to the link in the description. And we are going to make more videos about this gimbal, so stay tuned in the future. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Hello.